got one more piece of business to get out of the way. See, everything is in place. Jeff Jarrett's planning his wedding vows with his beautiful wife, Karen. They're getting ready for the big day. Immortals right where they need to be. Hulk Hogan's coming back on March 3rd. The world will be right again, but the only thing that's missing is Ric Flair. See, Rick, I've been a very patient man. I've been calling for weeks. I've reached out to that fine-looking attorney you have, Melinda, and even she has not been able to get you to call me. Now, Rick, I went to bat for you. When it was time to bring you into Immortal Hulk Hogan said, Eric, you know what Ric Flair's all about. You know what he's like. You know the baggage that he brings to the table. I said, Hulk, don't worry about it. That was then, this is now, and this is business. But Rick, I don't know. I'm starting to question you, Rick. I'm starting to wonder where you're really at, and I don't like that feeling. So Rick, I'm gonna give you until next week to come out here and explain yourself, because I... Well, I guess it's next week. No need to wait seven days. We told you Sunday and against all odds that Ric Flair was going to return to TNA on Impact Thursday. And the dirtiest player in the game, the Nature Boy Ric Flair, has arrived. Well, the nature's been kind of more or less MIA. But it looks like he's styling and profiling as usual. A lot of questions to ask the Nature Boy in regards to Fortune. Ray stands on that. You can see that Eric Bischoff wants some answers. He's trying to get something. See where Flair stands. And something tells me we are about to get the answers directly from the man himself, Ric Flair. SoCal Val going to lead the way for Ric Flair making his way into the ring. Not like a little hot redhead to open the world something. For a man whose nickname should be just champion. Greatest of all time. The last time someone gave me one opportunity, she said, you need to grow up or I'm out of here. And I said, you're out of here. That's my third ex-wife. So that's where you and I are. We got a track record a mile long. These guys grew up on Ric Flair. You grew up on Ric Flair. And you and nobody else tells me what the hell to do, when to do it, how to do it, or where to do it. And congratulations, okay? Me and the Hardys are tight, okay? Real tight. And you and I were getting tight. And after 25 years of hating each other's guts, me and Hogan finally rallied. But I'm out here. No, when I'm out here and you're questioning my integrity, by the way, have we forgotten I'm a wrestling god? When I was in Europe, they're all going, God, God. Instead of saying flair, they just played call me God. So I'll tell you, and I'll tell Hogan like it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. How about that? When it's not called you, God, you talk back to me. We're all one happy family, and I'll bring the family together, or I'll separate it. Okay, that's the power of being the nature boy, by God, Ric Flair. And on that note, I'll see you later. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, and you, you, at the hotel tonight, baby. Woo, subtle. What's it gonna be? Bring them together? You two in the green. Or separate them. Ric Flair's back. And he is Woo! fired up, and so are we. Because tonight, it's Jeff Woo! Hardy versus Rob Van Dam. It's for the TNA World Heavyweight Woo! Championship, and it's on impact. Woo!